Yo! Hmm? Remember? I still need to check out what new pieces they have. Hmm? It's that kid. Hey there! Mommy! Oh, there you are! You need to stay by Mommy's side, okay? with his mother today. Huh. Yeah, kind of looked like he was lost again. So I was worried for a second there. I've heard that no matter how careful you try to be, kids just love wandering off on their own, especially when they're that young. Must be hard being a mother. Anyway, you ready to go? One of the earrings caught my eye. Maybe I should find a new shop to check out. If I go on a day off, I could look somewhere a little further from home. But if I go out on my own again, who knows what creeps might come after me. The news hasn't been very reassuring. Gee, what should I do? If only someone would come with me. Okay, sorry. I'll be real with you. I'd love it if you'd be able to come with me. <laughs> so much for being afraid to rely on others, huh? <laughs> now it just slips out. I'll have to learn to hold back, too. I can't ask for too much, but I shouldn't do everything by myself, either. I guess it'll all balance out if you start relying on me more, too. At least that's what I think. Oh, right! I wanted to give you something. And that's actually why I wanted to hang out today. You know what it is, right? It's the strap from my cell phone. I got it at the opening ceremony for the Moonlight Bridge. It's been my special keepsake for many years because my dad bought it for me. I used to talk to the little charm attached to it when I was alone in my room. <laughs> you must think I'm nuts, huh? But it was pretty much the only thing that got me through. I can honestly say I wouldn't be here today if it weren't for that little guy. So I was just thinking maybe it could help you in some way too. Yep, I'm doing better these days, so I'd like you to have it. of the Lover's Arcana have been set free. We now bestow upon you the ultimate form of the Lover's within thyself. saying it'd be nice to go someplace a little further from home we've talked about this before remember about going out to the mountains or something let's make good on that okay we could even go to destiny land 
I can't wait to make some more fun memories together. All right, well, now that that's decided, it's time to start planning. Give some thought to where you'd like to go, okay?
Take your You know what? Yep, yep. Let's begin, shall we? I'm not going to say much, though. In the end, it's your decision. All right, first question. After you graduate, are you planning on going to college or getting a job? I see. Well, if you've already thought about it and made your choice, then there's nothing else for me to say. What's most important is that the decision is yours, and yours alone. If someone else makes it for you, you'll regret it later. And then, you'll have to live with the consequences, whatever they may be. But, to be honest, I'm not that worried about you. You've really matured over this last year. In fact, you've changed so much, I almost don't even recognize you. Don't tell me you haven't noticed. What do you think has helped to bring about this change the most? I see. Well, whatever the reason, you should be proud of the young man you've become. That's all for now. I hope you have a successful third year. Let's see, uh, who's next? Ah, I guess son. Would you mind letting her know? Thank you.
Oh, the next one up for career consultation? That'd be Aiga-san. She was just here a second ago, but I guess she went out. Maybe she's on the roof? Seen her go up there alone every now and then. Sure. Good luck. So do you think she's gonna go to college or get a job? She's full of mysteries, isn't she? She's changed recently, though, don't you think? Like her expressions and stuff. Again with that? You ever gonna stop thinking about hitting on girls? I don't mean it like that. All I'm saying is... Really, I just needed some time to think. After New Year's, when I had time to gather my thoughts, I realized something. When I fought Ryoji-kun that night, I got really scared when my consciousness began to fade. But that wasn't all. I was also confused and ashamed when I realized I couldn't defeat him. But I couldn't defeat him 10 years ago either. And I didn't have those feelings then. I... I really have changed. I've been thinking a lot about this change that's occurred in me. In the past, if I didn't understand something, I would just ask someone to explain it to me. But ever since I decided to live for myself, no one's been able to answer the questions I've been facing. But there's one thing that I do understand. The reason why I wanted to be close to you was so I could monitor death. But I... Even though death is gone now, I... I still want to be by your side. I still don't know what it means to live yet, but I want to learn the answer. And I think I can, if I'm with you. So please, please, take me with you! I may not be strong enough, but I'll fight with everything I have! Please! Thank you! which is what I believe to be the proper way to wear one's uniform. Please keep these things in consideration. I'm not saying everyone should follow this to the letter, so we'll leave it to the discretion of the individual. Holy crap, did that just come out of his mouth? 
I think this is the first time he's cared about anyone else's opinions. Well, at least he's trying. Thank you. I couldn't have done it without you. So, how did I do? What did everyone think? Thanks. Hearing that takes a huge weight off my shoulders. I may have painted a selfish, arrogant portrait of myself to everyone, so I'll have to win back their trust. Here, look at this. One of the guys fessed up about the cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. It took a lot of persuasion, but he promised me he'll never smoke again. This lighter is proof of that. I earned his trust by showing compassion for others. Just like you taught me. That's why you should be the one to have it. Thanks. I've spent my whole life looking down on others. Such baseless bravado. But you taught me an important lesson. Something I'll carry with me forever. I don't think I'll ever be anything like you, though. I am thou. Thou art I. The bond thou hast nurtured hath finally matured. The innermost power of the Emperor Arcana hath been set free. We now bestow upon thee the ultimate form of the Emperor within thyself. Remember the story I told you about the TV station's writer? That man. He's my father. I see now that sincerity is important. And I'm proud of myself for understanding that. I also realized what an amazing man my father is. It's about time to go. Say, do you want to stop by somewhere before we head home? Now that I think about it, we've never hung out outside of school before. Hey man, 
I was gonna wait to tell you this until we sit down to eat, but I've decided to go to Kyushu with Emiri, so this'll be the last time we have ramen together. Emiri? Who's that she's with? I didn't think he'd get so serious about it. He's just a kid. He must have misunderstood. I did it for my own track record as a teacher. He should be grateful. Seems like he's the one who spread the rumors. And now other students are... Just a little longer. We'll celebrate our wedding soon enough. I can't wait. Emiri. So, I guess today was the day she was leaving. I had no idea. I was so excited about going with her that I... I... S Stop it! Why are you trying to make me feel better? You should be laughing at me! Oh, such an idiot! Stupid, stupid idiot! I should have known this would happen. It was so obvious she wasn't serious about me. Why, Emiri? Why? <laughs> now my nose is running. <laughs> Thanks. If you weren't here, I'd... in seeing that film for a while now. It was a fascinating watch. While the road trip plot was nothing out of the ordinary, the way the characters expressed their emotions was masterful. When the main character left everything behind to go on a journey, that really struck a chord with me. <sighs> and then in the final scene, he decided to return to his normal life. I wonder if he was happy with that decision. Say, have you
Have you ever thought of running away to a place like that? Somewhere far away where no one knows who you are? I see. So you feel that way too sometimes. I'm not saying I wish to leave everything behind. It's just that every now and then, the things that matter are the very things that hold you back. The future of the company, the weight of my responsibilities. Sometimes I even wish that I wasn't shackled by the Kirijo family name. <sighs> I know. I understand that I can't afford to think this way. Listen to me complaining like this. How pathetic. Talking to you has become something of an outlet for me. <laughs> I'm sure you're sick of it by now. That's very kind of you. The offer is quite tempting. I hope you know what you're getting into. While we're on the topic, there's something I'd like to ask you. <sighs> Hypothetically, let's say that I was interested in someone right now. I knew I could never be with him, but even so, I couldn't help but harbor these feelings. Would that be wrong? Uh, keep in mind, this is a what-if scenario. To me. Ah, uh, there you are. Hey, Mitsuru. I've been looking all over for you. So this is where you've been. Come on, let's go. What? Wait a minute. Uh, I didn't make any plans with you for today. What does it matter? I managed to secure an opening in my schedule tonight. I'm a very busy man, you know. As a simple student, you're just going to have to work around it. I can't. I've already made plans. Do you know how long I spent looking for you? Don't tell me you have something more important to do than spend time with me. <sighs> Why the long face? You're supposed to be my fiancé, you know. Honestly, I thought you understood our arrangement. If you're going to be my future wife, you'll need to learn some obedience. Why must you and your family always be so difficult? Well, at least your father's not around anymore, so that's something of a relief. I imagine you feel the same. <laughs> You say that. <gasps> Thank you. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Get lost. Come on, Mitsuru. You know how this works. Corporate management is not child's play. No matter how smart you are, you're still going to need my knowledge and experience. And the Kirijo group still needs the cooperation of my company. Doesn't it? <sighs> yes. Good girl, Mitsuru. I knew you would listen to reason. Now, let's go. I've made reservations for us at a luxurious restaurant. All right. I wish you hadn't seen that. Thank you for today. It was quite fun. I'm sorry. Really. Please excuse me. It's all right. I appreciate the sentiment, though. Come on, Mitsuru, hurry up. By the way, you... Who do you think you are worming your way into her favor? You ought to know your place in society. Come
commoner like you isn't even fit to breathe the same air. Don't you understand? You're just a nuisance. <laughs> Unbelievable. There's a world of difference between you and us. Mitsuru, take care not to associate with his kind anymore. Enough. Mitsuru? I said that's enough! I won't let you insult him! What? Why are you getting so angry? This is someone I have a great deal of respect for. If you insult him, you insult me! M Mitsuru? What are you saying? You would side with him over me? You said there was a world of difference between you and him. Well, you're right. You can't compare to him at all. He stands on his own two feet, challenging fate with his own strength of will. Seeing his outlook on life has inspired and influenced me countless times. I... I... I want to be with him. Now... and forever. You want to be with him? Now and forever? What are you trying to say? You're supposed to be my fiancé! Are you implying I'm beneath this nobody? Take that back this instant, Mitsuru! It's not too late to ask for forgiveness. Think about the future of your company. I will not apologize. I want to be with him. You're not the one supporting me in my time of need. The group will do just fine on its own. We don't need help from a weasel like you. As of today, we'll have nothing to do with each other. And if you dare to attempt some petty retaliation, then next time you'll have the full might of the group to contend with. Get out of here, you Philistine! I don't want to see your face ever again! I see you're back. Exactly.
What's up? All right. Another day, another bowl of ramen. Really is some bomb ramen. How could I ever leave this city? <sighs> Miss Kano must be in Kyushu by now. I wonder if she had her wedding already. Hey, dude, give that back. That egg's all I got in this world, man. Hand it over or else. Always a blast hanging out with you. That said, I still want a girlfriend. Yeah, dude, and you can be my wingman. Let's go pick up some chicks. Ah, no, 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 I I'm getting off track. I've been doing some thinking after everything that went down. When Emmy left, I was sad, sure. But on top of that, I felt really dumb. Did I really love Emiri? Or did I just love the idea of dating a teacher? I thought about it a lot. But I couldn't figure it out. What I did figure out is, you're a true friend. Oh, damn it, why do I say such embarrassing things? God, I'm such a dumbass. Anyway, here, take this. I made it for you. Figured you could pull it off. Your fashion sense is kind of, uh, so I wanted to help you out. I mean, that's what best friends do, right? It's a symbol of our friendship. Man, I worked up an appetite acting all weird around you. More eggs, please. Make it ten.
catch in the park. Kinda messed up, don't you think? Playing catch is how kids are supposed to make friends. Adults can't just ban it because they feel like it. Right? I don't like this one bit. In any case, I didn't know it was banned here till today. When I first moved here, I play against the wall every now and then. This whole catch thing, it's and wanted to get my arms back in shape. I've been thinking about maybe getting back into baseball again. I still have no clue what I want to do with my life. And if I keep trying to avoid it, I'll have nothing but regret hanging over me. Next time I'm asked what I'll be doing in two years, I want to have a real answer. That's why I'm picking baseball back up. You, uh, think that's the right call? Nothing else really comes to mind. Anyway, here. This is for you. Today was a bust, but we'll try again another time. Hang on to that till then. Though I guess we'll have to wait till after you know what, huh? I don't know. Honestly, I've been feeling like this since April. I can barely juggle what I've got on my plate as it is. Let alone think about the future. They're senpais, though. They're such badasses. They're still prepping for exams, even with everything going on. Man, it's been a hell of a year. We're gonna look back on all this someday and wonder how we ever got through any of it. It wasn't all good. And we hit more than a few rough patches. Guess you could say our short lives have been pretty wild so far, huh? <laughs> right? Despite all that's happened, I'm glad you became our leader. I know I said you should do what you want to do. Thanks for choosing a fight. Well then, let's make sure this chapter of our lives ends on a happy note. Alright? And then, Hollywood will turn our adventure into a movie! I'd be the lead, obviously. Dude, you'd be a shoo-in for best supporting actor. <laughs> that serious crap ain't our style, is it? Come on, let's head home. We'll figure out how to sweep the Oscars on the way. Welcome back. Um... Say... Um...
Yo. <laughs> Yo. I don't think anyone will come up here for a while. I leveraged my position on the student council to make it happen. This is, um, the first time I've ever used my authority for personal reasons. Wait, that's not important right now. What am I doing? What I'm trying to say is, we need to talk. Firstly, I have to apologize. I'm sorry for what happened last time. That's... kind of you. Thank you. The things my ex-fiancé said to you were inexcusable, but... more importantly, I wanted to apologize for my own behavior. When that happened... Um, I said all manner of things about you, and then I just ran off. That was unbelievably insensitive of me. I'm sorry. I had been planning on telling you my feelings. I just didn't think I'd end up shouting them in public like that. Hey, don't tease me like that. I didn't think I had it in me either. Ever since I started spending time with you, my life has been full of new experiences. I felt shock, joy, even outrage, but every time I've always been thinking of you. <sighs> now that it's come to this, I'm obligated to tell you exactly how I feel. <sighs> Here goes. I... I... love you. I'm going to die of embarrassment. I see. That's unfortunate, but I'm glad I cleared the air. You told me it was up to me how to handle these emotions. Thanks to that, I was able to be honest with myself. If I had kept my feelings locked up, I never would have been able to move forward. It is imperative to be true to our hearts, just as you were with your answer. Thank you. If I hadn't harbored these emotions, I would have continued lying to myself, justifying it all under the Kirijo name. And if that had happened, there's no doubt I would have failed on my path in the future. From now on, I'm not going to let myself be constrained by my family heritage. It's because of who I am as an individual that I ended up meeting you. Now then, I certainly have a lot to thank you for, but there's one more matter I'd like to bring up. I haven't eaten since this morning, so I'm terribly famished. I'd say you bear some responsibility for this. I could do with some takoyaki on our way back. Your treat? I'd hardly complain if you were to do at least that much to mend a broken heart.
Welcome back. One big sale today. You can't you made up your mind? Changed your mind? Which ones? You shake. You gotta tell no You made up your mind? Thanks for coming. You made up your thanks for coming. With me. You made up your sure Thanks. You gotta Which one? Thanks nice for coming. Done already? Come again. Hey. I'm counting on you. Well, we got some new things in stock. Check it out, if you got the time. Everything looks good. It's all yours. Everything looks all right, then. Everything all right, then. You gotta tell no I never feel like... Everything looks good. It's all yours. Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. Everything all right, then. Everything look good here? All right, then. Uh, Great. It's all yours. Now that you're all right, then. Uh, take as long as you need. Be. What are you looking for? What are you looking for? Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. That was all right then. That all right then. Hmm? You finished? Come back soon.
Um.